Iran wants to purchase the Russian-made S-300 surface-to-air missile defense system. Israel has been actively working to block the deal. But Iran already has other defense systems to confront any potential Israeli threat. The Tor M1 is a Russian-made surface-to-air missile system. It is the cornerstone of Iran's defense system to protect its nuclear facilities. With the ongoing stalemate in the sale and delivery of the S-300 to Iran, the Iranians are believed to have their eyes on another air defense system, the Buk, a medium-range surface-to-air missile system developed by Russia. The Tor M1, along with the Buk system, constitutes a potent defensive shield. We provide Iran with missile defense systems of a lower grade than the S-300 or the S-400, but they're still capable of protecting Iranian airspace. The fact that somebody has anti-aircraft missile batteries does not necessarily curtail the ability of the Israeli Air Force to operate. It just compels them to operate differently. But uh, uh, they don't lose their operational capability. Aware of international isolation, Iran is trying to achieve a totally self-sufficient armaments capability. But a lack of strong technical expertise is believed to have inhibited Iran from indigenously developing and manufacturing advanced armaments. This weakness means Iran only has the capability to produce lower technology weaponry. Tukhan believes Israel maintains the striking edge with its ballistic missiles, especially the Jericho missile. Israel has produced Jericho 2s and 3s that have the range to reach to, into Iran. Now, if all things fail with using their aircraft, they obviously have the option of utilizing their ballistic missiles with nuclear warheads. Jericho 3 is the long arm of Israel. It has an estimated range of between 5,000 to 11,000 kilometers, depending on its payload. The Jericho 3 gives Israel nuclear strike capabilities within the entire Middle East. In his study, Tukhan calculates Israel would need 42 missiles to effectively destroy the three main targets in Esfahan, Natanz and Arak. The distance is something like 2,000 kilometers. The accuracy of 2,000 kilometers is not in meters, it could be in, kilometer, in kilometers, in 1,000, 2,000 meters. So you need a nuclear warhead to create that blast to do the destruction capability that they would require. The use of ballistic missiles with nuclear warheads could create a regional Armageddon a scenario the Iranians claim to be prepared to confront. I see such an attack as possible, but unlikely. Israel knows that even with its resources, it is not capable of achieving its military objectives. The possession of long-range aircraft and so on does not indicate the possession of military prowess and the will to take the action. Furthermore, the Islamic Republic of Iran has taken adequate provisions to counter any such action, and in particular to retaliate against it. The Shihab-3 is the longest-range missile Iran has successfully tested in public. Classed as a medium-range ballistic missile, its range is enough to put targets in the Gulf and in Israel within reach. Iran would have the capability to retaliate so they could very easily launch their missiles against Israel. Now we don't know if they do have any, let's say, chemical, biological, or radiological. They have thousands of missiles, of medium-range missiles, which can hit Kuwait and Bahrain and, and American forces in, in the Gulf. But as far as missiles that can reach Israel, probably at the moment they have like 100 missiles, these Shiab 3 missiles. No one knows the exact number of missiles Iran has. It could have a hundred or two hundred, no one knows. But is Israel capable of taking all these hits? 
they can stand to take a nuclear hit and survive. If Tel Aviv is hit, it's over. Israel knows more than anyone else the danger of an Iranian response. Israel lacks a clear strategy towards Iran, and the proof is that it issues such threats. In June 2009, Israel's Minister of Defense, Ehud Barak, was in Washington to discuss the sale to Israel of the Vulcan Phalanx machine gun. The gun can fire 3,000 bullets per minute. It can shoot out of the sky short-range rockets, such as the type fired by Hamas from Gaza and Hezbollah from Lebanon. Israel is developing the Arrow anti-ballistic missile system with U.S. cooperation. This is currently Israel's primary means of defense against long-range missiles, such as the Iranian Shehab-3 that pose a greater threat to Israel. The Arrow-3 anti-missile missile system is a longer-range upgrade to Israel's Arrow defense system currently in operation. It is designed to intercept incoming enemy missiles at higher altitudes and farther away from Israel.